double up. Three or four times, I ain't telling no lies. I just run it up. What's going on, y'all? TKO, Sneakers and the Fox, and you are checking out Sneaker Fox Sneaker Watch Sneaker Review. Got a dope collaboration sneaker that we'll be taking a look at today. And this is Sneaker Crush Monday. Every Monday, I drop a sneaker that I'm really crushing on. And this Monday, I'm crushing on these beauties right here. This is the Converse, the Soloist collaboration. Uh, the Soloist is actually a Japanese streetwear brand. And he's really, really, really blowing up. And so it looks like we got an opportunity to do a dope collaboration with Converse. And another dope thing about it is his collaboration is a collaboration with Converse's new technology, its new silhouette, which is the CX Disrupt. What they did is they just took the Chuck 70 and pretty much it's supposed to be much more comfortable. So we'll check it out and see if that is the fact, if it really is way more comfortable. Uh, let's see what it says here on the box. It says uh, the Converse All-Star Disrupt CX, and this is the high. I haven't seen the CX model in low yet. I've only seen it in high. You have the original colorway, which is black, white, and red and then there's also an olive green model as well and then this particular model comes in a black and white today we're going to look at the black model and the color it just has here is just uh black so let's take a look at the sneaker we're going to look at both sneakers because uh on both sneakers it's pretty much the same thing but a little bit different when it comes to the tagline that is on this particular sneaker so let's check it out okay so we're going to start with the left foot sneaker as you can see here, it will start on the side. Well, let's do a 360. I'd like to give you all the 360 first. So there's your 360 look. And let's go ahead. We'll start with the very first difference. Well, there's two differences on this uh, particular sneaker from your typical Chuck 70 with the CX model. Uh, the first is we'll start with the toe. Well, the toe, as you know, it's rubber, but it looks like it's a, definitely a lighter softer type of material it's more plastic than a tough material so here's a uh, my sneaker that will be dropping soon so y'all stay tuned for this but anyway um it's not as hard as this rubber plastic it's much lighter uh plastic on this uh particular uh model then the next difference is where you see here is the midsole the midsole is completely different this is the CX technology. Look at that. It's a completely different. As you can see here, it pokes out from the, the main part of the midsole. The other part of the midsole, the upper part of the midsole pokes out. And you can see how it pokes out here too. It's a few inches further from the heel. There you go again. You can see it goes all the way around on the back of the sneaker. So as you can see here. And then if you look in here, you do have the Compass branding in there. It's the bottom of the sneaker. And yeah, as you can see, it curves in here. So I'm definitely interested. I haven't even put these on foot yet. So I'm definitely interested in putting these on foot and seeing if there is a difference in the comfort of the sneaker. Another difference with this is the stretchability of the sneaker. This stretches as you can see this right here no stretch it's open but there's no stretch ability to it but this material that they use here stretches so it looks like they've got it stretched so you can get your foot in there easier and uh no much better it's easier to get your foot into the, the sneaker so that's one thing is stretch another thing here you have a, a loop for the laces so as you see that's not on your regular sneaker the only one you'll see this on, you also see this on the Fear of God collaboration. Um, if you look at my previous videos, you'll see where he has um, um, Lorenzo put the loop here. So you can put your laces through that loop there. So that's another difference in the sneaker. Uh, the laces that they choose to use in this particular is um, the round shoelaces compared to your flat uh, shoelaces. These are your round shoelaces that's what's used here in the shoelace take a look at the tongue the tongue also has that same stretchy material canvas as the whole body of the sneaker i really like that and so let's look at this so the collaboration is with um the soloist which is a uh, japanese streetwear in uh, when 
<laughs> I was about to say Japanese street wear in Japan. In Japan, it's a famous street wear there. And this is one of his taglines that he goes by. I am the soloist. And then what does this say under here? And then, uh, let's see. Oh, since 2010. So, the, the way, I couldn't read it because the way it is on this particular sneaker, it's mirrored. So, on this camera, you can see it that way. So, if you look at the other one, you'll see how that's mirrored. So, one side is mirrored. The other one is just a regular way you can look at it. Uh, so, it says, I am the soloist since 2010. And 2010 is when um, the, the soloist brand uh, started. And let's take a look on the inside. You will get the same effect here as well. As you can see on this foot, the right foot, you, it's hard to read, you know, it's uh, mirrored. But if you go here, then you'll see exactly what it says. It says, hello, I am the soloist since 2010. Then you have your same Converse branding and tag here in the middle. But this is a little different from your typical. This is like much smoother. Um, except for the star, of course, but um, that's your branding on the inside. Overall, I really love the look of the sneaker, and I'm glad Congress decided to do something different um, and updated the silhouette with this uh, CX. But I'm sure that, you know, they're still going to be dropping, you know, the regular Chuck 70s, but it's dope to have a different one here, and I definitely look forward to uh, getting the other um, colorways of this sneaker. Uh, this particular one with the collaboration has a white one, so I definitely look forward for that. And then, like I said, there's two other models of the CX uh, Disrupt as well. And so overall, I really like this model. I'm definitely interested in seeing how this looks on foot and really seeing how much more comfortable this is. That's what they say. They say it's way more comfortable than the regular version. Oh, another thing that I see here is you have your air hole, your holes here for the breathability for the sneaker. So that's pretty much a new touch, you know, on your regular Converse, that's what you had. You had the hole there for the breathability. So they still kept that in the sneaker as well. So that's pretty dope. So like, comment, let me know what you think about the sneaker and just stay tuned for the on foot. Double up, three or four times, I ain't telling no lies, I just run it up.